Okay, guys, I know I just answered this question, which was squats versus wall sits. One thing I didn't address about the question was he was saying he liked the wall sits because he could actually hold weights in his hand and sit against the wall. Now, this addresses one of my problems with wall sits is in that there's not enough resistance. So, now, there's an additional problem I wanted to go over, and that is when you're doing wall sits, uh, you're just in one position. So, you're not challenging your muscle through a range of motion. And when you're jumping, you're obviously moving your muscles through a certain range of motion. So uh, squats would be better because they're going to teach you to stabilize and strengthen your muscles through a range of motion. Uh, so secondly, you will eventually get to a point where you can do no more. You can't hold any more weights. Uh, you know, you should be getting to a point where your legs are getting very strong and you just won't be able to hold that much weight. However, that's secondary to the fact that you're not stabilizing and moving your muscles through that range of motion. Uh, the last one is I don't like the joint angle of a, uh, of a wall sit. When you're doing a wall sit, your angles are at a 90 degree angle and rarely are you going to jump at that angle. Uh, when you're jumping at an angle, uh, the actual angle where you start jumping is going to be more uh, around 45 degrees or less. And so I like to mimic the same joint angles in your vertical jump uh, that you will do in your training or vice versa. You should train the same angles that you're going to use in performance. So that's just a little addition to our previous video about wall sits versus squats.